Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn the difference between line and line section. In our previous lecture, we have seen the difference between line, point, line, plane, and solid. As we are uh, discussing the geometry nowadays, so we should have the knowledge about the fundamentals of the geometry. So line and line segment are also the fundamentals of the geometrical figures. We should know the difference between line and line segment, as most of us get confused how they differ from each other. Now, at the end of this lecture, you will be able to clearly differentiate between the line and line segment. So, let's start with the uh, with the uh, first difference between them. That is the definition of the line and line segment. So, line is basically a line is one is a one dimensional geometrical figure which extends indefinitely in both directions. So, as its definition indicates, this is a one dimensional geometrical figure. That means it has only one dimension that is length. It does not have the width or the breadth. So, you, we can say this is a one dimensional figure and it extends indefinitely. It has no end, ending points and it goes forever in both the directions. So, this is the definition of a line. Now, more precisely, we can go towards the line segment, keeping in um, uh, by keeping aside the, the definition of the line so that we can have the clear understanding of the difference between them. So, what is line segment? So, a line segment is a part of line with two end points. Now, it has shown that line segment is not a new figure or is not a standalone figure that has no connection with the line. It means line segment is a subset of the line. It means line segment is a part of the line. If you divide the line into two, three, or four parts, you will get two, three, or four line segments. So it means line segment and line are related to each other in such a way that line segment is a subset of the line. So the definition has cleared your concept that line is a, uh, is a geometrical figure that extends indefinitely in both directions, having only the length, while line segment is a part of that line, and line segment is basically a subset of the line, and it can be uh, you can say you can get the line segment from the line. It is basically uh, you have taken the line segment from the line. It has itself no other um, you can say specific definition. So line segment is a part of line with two end points. Now the next difference is so here we have the diagram of the line. So whenever we represent the line, we draw the line in this way with the double headed arrows on both sides or you can say on both. And that shows that this line is extending infinitely in both directions that is left and right and it is basically represented by a and b and it is not showing that a and b are its end points this is just the representation so let's see how you can write it how you can den denote it while um, writing it in uh, geometry so uh, you can denote it by by writing the alphabets of the uh, by writing the alphabets or whatever the name you give if it uh, i have written here a b it could be b c c d l m anything it just depends what, what is given. So here I have taken AB. So this line is represented by AB with a double headed arrow on the top. And whenever you came across the symbol like this, it means this symbol is basically representing a line. I read it as line AB, not a line segment AB because there is a double headed arrow on the top. Now we will see how you can represent a line. This is the figure of the line segment. We don't have any arrow. We just have the end points. That is showing that this line is, end, is starting from A and ends at B. It means this line has two end points. That is finite end points. And this line is not extending infinitely in both directions. And it is represented by the alphabets to A, B. You can uh, write any alphabet. And a single line, a straight line at the top. Or you can say a bar at the top of the alphabet. So this is how you can differentiate if you are given with the uh, notations like AB with the double headed arrow and AB with the bar or single line at the top, you can easily say that, that AB is representing a line or a line set. So, you can say that we have taken a part of the line AB in the line segment and that has definite length and that is has end point. So, this is how they represent in terms of figure, in terms of their representation. Now, the next difference between them is, next difference between line and line segment is the length. As this is a one-dimensional or unidimensional geometrical figure having the length, so its length must have some value. But in case of line, line is extending infinitely. So, we cannot measure the length of the line AB. We can't say that the 
the, the, we can't say the measurement of the or the length of the line AB is equal to 5 cm or 10 cm or 100 cm. So, we can't find the length of a line because it is an infinite line that is extending infinitely in both directions and we don't have the definite value. AB, that is the line that I have drawn above, can I say that the line AB is of 5 cm or 10 cm or etc. No, I can't say that the length of the line AB is 5 cm or 10 cm is of infinite line. I cannot represent it in centimeters or I cannot measure it in centimeters or in any unit. So, AB is an infinite line. Then we have to move towards the line segment as if I will be given with a infinite line. If I take a chunk of it, in terms of line segment, then it is for sure that it that chunk will have some length. Then comes the then comes the concept of line segment. So if I take a chunk of the line, I'll get a line that is fixed, that is definite, that has some length, that has some uh, uh, value in units. So let's write it. So I can say here that this line segment AB is of finite length and it can be 5 cm, 10 cm or so on. So here this is wrong and here this is right. I can measure the length of the line segment but I can't measure the length of the line. This is the basic difference between that that you have to keep in your mind. So whenever we talk about the lengths in geometry, we came across the line segment not line so whenever we make a rectangle we make a triangle we consider the line segment because we are having the definite lengths 5 10 15 centimeters so this is a finite length this is another difference between the line and lines so lastly i can write without hesitation that length of line cannot be measured this is one difference and the length of line segment can be measured you can measure it with a scale. So, this is the basic difference between line and line segment. And whenever we draw the figures in geometry, we consider the line segment rather than line. We can't say that we have made um, a, a, a triangle or a rectangle by using the line segment. We can't say that we have used a line to make. So, another difference that you will also came across uh, is that you can draw a line on the you can't draw a line on the paper and it's obvious you can't draw how can you draw an infinite thing on the paper you can't draw and similarly you can draw a line segment on the paper another difference that it that a line cannot be drawn on a paper and a line segment can be drawn on a paper and this just means that if you have the specific length if you have the value of the length of the line then you can easily draw but when then when you have the concept that this line has no end points this line has no length this line this length, this line has no end points. This line has indefinite length. So how you can draw it? So that's why it is also the difference between line and line segment. So this is all about how line and line segment differs from each other. So hope so at the end of this lecture you will have the clear concept how line differs from line segment. So one short thing is line segment is a subset of line. That's that's it, and you just need to understand this concept that line segment itself has no concept. It's it is actually drawn from the line. So that's all from today's lecture. Thank you.